Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Danielle. If you are new here, then hello. I make all types of lifestyle content here on this channel from vlogs to hauls, routine videos. So if you like that type of content, then definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also turn on your notification bell. That way you know every time I upload a new video here on my channel. And today I am joined by a very special guest, my dear cousin Farron. Hi. Hello. Also known as Hey Naughty Girl here on YouTube. So please go subscribe to our channel. It will be in the description box below as always. All right, you guys. So today we're doing a very exciting video. I've seen these on YouTube a lot. Um, people do these little videos and I thought it would be fun. So I asked you guys on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to do that. My name is right there and it's always in the description box below as well. But today we're going to be trying my Instagram followers favorite fall Starbucks drinks. So I asked you guys on Instagram what your favorite drinks were at Starbucks for the fall. You guys answered. And so I have five of them to try out today. And Farron is a coffee drinker as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try these and give you our honest opinions about y'all's decisions. Mm -hmm. See if y'all got good taste. Yeah, because I'm concerned. Up, up until this year, I didn't have a fall drink at Starbucks. Me neither. A week. Oh, I still don't. I'm a black coffee drinker. Don't give me any cream. Give me just a little bit of sugar. I want to taste. The coffee, coffee beans. She be like, I was gonna say, she's really like into the the co like she know coffee beans and roast and all yes. that. I don't, yes. I don't know nothing about that. Mm. So you guys gave us some drinks, and all of them, like most of the suggestions were cold drinks. There was only one person out of the eight of you who gave me um ideas um that gave me one hot drink. So should we start with the hot drink? Yeah, we might as well. Okay. So we're not going to waste no time. We're going to jump right into it. We have our mugs here. We each have a handy dandy mug. So cute. Um, because obviously, like, I mean, we live together, mm -hmm. so we're fine. But like, you know, we're, 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 we're. so we're going to pour the drinks into, <laughs> right. We're going to pour the drinks into our mugs, um, just like a little bit, just to taste it and see how it is so this very first one the hot one i hope they put on here okay so the very first one is a caramel apple spice i've never heard of this oh yeah i've never heard of this i don't even know if this is coffee or if it's tea because hmm. like even when i ordered it off of the app i wasn't sure, sure. okay so i think it's coffee it's coffee very milky or is it tea see i can't tell mm, see y'all are really getting me out of my oh no that's tea it is. What, oh, cider? Maybe, maybe it's not. I don't know. If anybody knows what the caramel apple spice consists of, please let us know. But. Hey guys, it's Jasmine from the future coming in to let you know that I went to Starbucks the day after we recorded this video and I asked them what was in the caramel apple spice. It is literally just apple juice. <laughs> it's apple juice, um, caramel sauce heat it up, and then they add whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and cinnamon on top of it. So that's all it is. Cheers. Oh. I like oh, this. I like this. I like this. Yeah, okay. This is good. All right. It tastes like a... It's almost like a hot toddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Apple pie. I was gonna say it tastes like an apple pie in a cup. Yes, like I I'm drinking an apple like pie. I like this a lot. Mm. I wasn't expecting that. Me neither. I had. Let me tell you, I had low expectations to like any of this. Same. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we started here. This mm. is delightful. I got talls and everything. By the way, I know that some of the um, like one of these specified to be a venti, and I know like when you change the um, sizes, it kind of changes how many pumps of stuff you should put in it, but I just got tossed because y'all paid for this and I wasn't going to pay for 17 venti. This video is not no. Okay, <laughs> at all. So the first one was great. Yeah, I like this. We set the bar high. We did, but I also think it was tea. I think it was tea. This is a pumpkin frappuccino with white mocha and cinnamon dolce topping. So fun fact, I don't do a lot of pumpkin things. <laughs> Me either, which is why I've never had a fall drink. Like, I, because I'm not like a pumpkin spice latte, mm -hmm. pumpkin. This won't come off. Okay. Sorry. Okay. That's a lot of whipped cream on that, baby. You need a little spoon? I don't know if I even really want any of the whipped cream. I do. Oh, I what should we do? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. I mean, mm. I don't 
hate it. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Your body is rejecting it already. <laughs> <laughs> Your body was like, mm -hmm. no, I don't like this. But see, I think the whip is probably helping me. Oh, um, yeah, no, I, mm -mm. I'm not a fan of this, honestly. I'm gonna pour the rest of that. We're sitting in front of the sink. Yeah, I poured the rest of that in there. I'm not a fan of that. Um, I don't know what it is about it that I don't like, to be exact. But I just don't like it. Ooh. You seem to enjoy it. I mean, it's, listen, I would never drink a whole thing of it. Yeah. But, but it's not, it's not yeah. bad. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we agree on the first one. We're split on this second one. Let's go with the cold brew. So I'm okay. going to go with the cold brew because like three people recommended a variation of this cold brew. So it's a, a cold brew with, this is a cold brew with two pumps cinnamon dolce, pumpkin topping, and that's literally it. Okay. Now, this might be right up my alley. It's coffee, like straight yeah. up coffee. And I like cinnamon. I was saying, I said this off camera, but I've tried a cold brew before and I just wasn't a fan, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, but. I just might like it. Let's see. Cheers. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. See, it tastes like no. coffee. <laughs> it tastes like coffee and what I don't like about cold brews and which is why I kind of knew I wasn't gonna like this mm -hmm. is the fact that it tastes like watered down coffee yeah like it if does. I'm gonna drink an iced coffee it has to be creamy or like add some milk or something in there because this tastes like watered down black coffee it it just tastes like cold black coffee to me I don't, but I you don't, don't hate it oh uh, uh, you don't like it I don't like it. Okay, so we we agree on this one. Yeah. Okay, cool. This is a pumpkin cream cold brew, oh. which was <laughs> which was also highly, um, a lot of people recommended a pumpkin cream cold brew with various additions to it. But this is just a standard pumpkin cream cold brew. But I feel like I ordered it with um, white mocha added. Because someone, someone said about adding, no, sorry, not white mocha, toffee nut maybe? Maybe that's this one. No, that's this one. Okay, just kidding. This is just your basic pumpkin cream cold brew. I, I have no expectations for this one. I just poured this one right out the lid. So. I, okay, I have a question. Okay. So, because they're fall drinks, mm -hmm. does that automatically mean pumpkin? Girl, apparently like, so. We don't have any other things. We have the caramel apple spice. You're right. But that was it. Every other one has some form of pumpkin. Pumpkin, right. Yeah. It, the, I don't know why pumpkin is like the fall go-to like we can't do maple or there's some like salted caramel but i feel like the salted caramels are always on the menu they i could are. be wrong about that but so this was just a basic pumpkin cold oh i'm not gonna like this you might it may be good i don't hate it i don't taste anything <laughs> i don't hate this i don't hate it and I don't know what's so different between this one and the original cold brew. I think it's because it has some creaminess to it. Probably. And I, a little bit of flavoring. I literally, I don't taste pumpkin. Is my tongue coated? Like, I don't. I mean, I don't really taste a lot of pumpkin, but it's a hint of something there. Hmm. There may be something there that wasn't there before. Is that a Disney movie? Beauty and the Beast. Oh. We about to expose me because I don't really know Disney movies like that, you guys. Beauty and the Beast is the only one that I. I'm gonna show you. The Are the guys. dishes singing this? Yes, and Chip, the one that had a little chip in it, he's like, "Mama, what's there, Mama?" <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to leave this in here. <laughs> we are down to our last drink, and this one sounded good. Mm hmm. But I don't know. It has a lot going on. Like this sound like, cause I mind you, I didn't get any of these with like a dairy replacement. So normally when I like drink coffee or order coffee drinks, I get like oat milk or almond milk. Um, I don't really do dairy. This one got a lot of dairy. So if your stomach is sensitive to the dairy, be careful with this one. Mm -hmm. um, this is an iced white mocha 
with toffee nut syrup, uh, white mocha, and it was supposed to have a caramel drizzle, but there wasn't an, right there wasn't an option on the app to do a caramel drizzle. So I ordered these on the app. I didn't go to drive through because there was a lot of them and I didn't feel like in there. Yeah. So I didn't do the caramel drizzle. Sorry to the person who sent me this drink. Um, it's not exactly what you told me, but it sounds good still. Yeah, it does. Cheers. Cheers. This tastes like vanilla, vanilla ice cream. Mm. Is there cinnamon in it? Honestly, it tastes like milk. It's not bad. It tastes like vanilla milk. There's a nut in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's the toffee nut. Oh yeah, I forgot you said that. It's the toffee nut. Okay. I almost feel like I should add this to coffee. Yes. <laughs> Like, I feel like I should pour this into coffee and it will make my coffee taste like just like a vanilla mocha coffee. This would be a great creamer. Yeah, exactly. Like, this should be a creamer. Yeah. Mmm. Well, over... Okay, so we liked... We agreed on this one. We liked it. Uh-huh. We didn't like the pumpkin cold brew or... Yeah. yeah, we didn't like that one. We did not like the cold brew. Oh, no, I didn't like the cold brew. Uh, you, I, you didn't care. Yeah. If I said that I didn't like the pumpkin frappuccino earlier, I needed it, I needed to have it with a little bit of the whip. Yeah. Because it is good with like the whip and the cinnamon. Yeah. I like that. Mm. I might have a little, well, no, because I'm going to drink the rest of this. <laughs> the caramel apple spice is it for me. I will probably order this another day. I don't know how often, like if this is always on the menu or if this is only a fall drink, someone let me know, but I will probably have another one of these this week, so enjoyed that a lot yeah no this was great this was fun thank yeah. you for doing this with me thank you for inviting me oh, you're yeah. welcome christmas is coming up so if you have any if there's any december or christmas faves i don't even know i know they do holiday drinks at starbucks but they're gonna put candy canes in them like it's probably like peppermint mochas and stuff like that so if y'all want us to do a holiday version of this video comment down below and let us know or comment your favorite drinks from the holidays as well and maybe we'll come back and do a part two of this video um you have anything else you want to say no thanks you guys this is fun <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the, well, I will see you in the next video. Make sure you go over to Hey Naughty Girl, subscribe and watch all of her amazing videos. <laughs> Bye y'all.